welcome students so today we will start with a new experiment that is study of compound microscope what is the aim of the experiment to study the compound microscope and its various parts now what is compound microscope so you can uh, see in this video that the compound mi microscopes consist of two set of lens you remember this that any compound microscope consist of two set of lens and objectives with higher magnification okay so let's come what are the basic parts of the microscope what are the basic parts now there are four basic parts of microscope first is the support system next is the illuminating system next is the magnification system and last one is the adjustment system now you need to know each and every part in details so first within the supported system support system first is the base of the microscope that is the base of the microscope okay the what is the function of this it is a hot shoe shaped hot shoe shaped and is the base on which the microscopes rest next is arm arm is curved shape or c shaped okay and it supports the magnifying and the adjusting system magnifying and the adjusting system next is body tube next is body tube so it is a tube which helps to locate the lens to locate the lens and through which light pass and through which the light pass okay and last is stage stage is the horizontal platform as is visible in the video on which the specimen on which the specimen or some prepared slide you can keep on it and you can view microscope next is no space so it is the part of the microscope that holds the objective lens that holds the objective lens okay so it is also called as revolving no space as you have seen in the video it can revolve and you can adjust the objective as per your wish okay now the next component is the illuminating system okay the so first is the source of light first is the source of light that is it is a system uh, which may be external or it can be internal okay so external can be your daylight or electric lamp or tube light or internal source can be the inbuilt light source in this uh, uh, basically compound microscope uh, this is not present only the external light is uh, acceptable here but some microscopes some modern microscopes are there where you can use the inbuilt screen or source of light next is a condenser you can uh, see in the video a condenser is there it is a system of lens which is fitted as a short cylinder mounted below the stage mounted below the stage okay so uh, this condenser helps to focus the light on the specimen which is over the stage right now next is mirror next is the mirror so mirror is double sided mirror is double sided with one flat side and another one is concave side which is present below the condenser it focuses the light ray into a solid cone of light onto the specimen under study and help in resolving the image okay last is the iris or diaphragm iris you can see in the video that there is an iris which is a thin opaque membranous structure fitted with the fitted with the condenser fitted with the condenser okay now the third component is the magnification system now within the magnification system the first is the eyepiece 
okay so what is eye piece now it is a lens that fits into the top of the body and it magnifies image it magnifies image formed by the objective generally 10x or 5x or 15x whatever you can use for your purpose okay now next is objective next is the objective now there are uh, basically three type of objectives which are attached in the revolving nose piece okay the first one is the 10x first one is the 10x okay next you can use 45x or 40x next you can use 45x or 40x okay so in case of 10x it is low objective low power objective 10x is the low power objective okay and it magnifies the image 10 times greater in case of 40 or 45 this is the high power objective which magnifies the image 40 to 45 times and it is used this specific objective is used for the broad view of blood flows if you work on any blood uh, sample or uh, if you need to uh, create a blood flow then you have to use this 45x objective apart from this there are another objective that can be present within the revolving nose piece is the 100x which is oil of immersion though it is not present in this microscope now what is degree of magnification so the degree of magnification is the times of multiplication of 10x that is the eye piece objective and 10x of the nose piece okay that means 100x total is the 100x similarly you can multiply 10x with the 45x which will become 450x that is also the degree of magnification now the last component is the adjusting system huh? there are two adjusting system first is coarse adjustment knob and next one is the fine adjustment knob now if you move the coarse adjustment knob you can uh, see in the video that you can focus more clearly on the slight or on your specimen okay so what is the function of course adjustment knob it is used to bring the specimen into appropriate near focus near focus right now next is the fine adjustment knob what is fine adjustment knob it is used to bring the same specimen into more focused point that is the sharp focus so you have to adjust okay by yourself which one should be used first but remember you should first use coarse uh, adjustment knob and then the fine adjustment knob to focus the specimen more clearly so uh, these are the uh, parts of the compound microscope so you, you need to remember each and every function so that you can focus your specimen more clearly and more precisely so thank you for today again we will meet on the next day with some new topic with some new experiment till then goodbye take care